<sighs> I'm actually happy I'm at the house. What is up, y'all, and welcome back. You are watching Driven Passion. And today, today, we're going to do a lower pressure fuel pump installation. So first, you always got to take a seat out first. So you have one on this side, and you have one on the other side. You just pull them, you lift the seat up, and then the seat will come out. And you'll kind of have to rotate the seat out. Now, the next thing is to lift up on this. And this thing right here, it's just gonna come out for you. So once you yank this part that's covering the tank up, just pull that out and then you'll be in the clear. Okay, now that that's up and out, I have a little dilemma. I have a cover here and a cover here. But I'm gonna go with this side because the tank is on this side. Um, the rule of thumb is when you have a fuel pump that you're changing, uh, the tank is usually on the same side as where you fill the car up. So, j going by that rule, I'm gonna go, to go ahead and check this hole and hopefully I win. All right, so it looks like I won that one. Awesome. So this is one of the fuel lines, and that's how I know this, the fuel pump is down up in here. This connector has to come out, and that line has to come out. And then you have these screws that goes around. Those have to come out, and then the cover that's holding down the actual fuel sending unit, that can come up. Let's do it. All right, so the cover's out. Fuel sending unit, this thing just pops up. It just kind of tells me, hey, I'm coming up. Cause this thing just popped up. It didn't do, okay. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to use both hands. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this out. And then once I pull this out, um, we can go from there. Cool. Okay. Now that majority of the unit is out, this fuel line right here with the green, I'm going to have to unclip that and take that fuel line off in order for the entire assembly to come out. Um, and I'm going to do that right now. So the unit is out. When you pull it out, try not to damage that blue O-ring there because that seals the unit to the tank. All right. So let's work on getting this pump out of here, shall we? So right now, this is this is the unit. So these that clip, that clip, and that clip. They all have to come loose, which I already did. And then once you do that, this bottom part will slide down. A little more than I thought. So see these two metal poles? Well, these metal poles had springs on them. And at the bottom of the springs, it was clamps like this. So once I took that out and the clips I showed you earlier, I was able to slide it out after I disconnected the wires that was connected to the top part. But other than that, it slid out without an issue. All right. So let's, let's go ahead and kind of make this thing more visible. So that part right there, the fuel pump is inside of there. Yeah. So, so it looks like I gotta get the fuel pump out from the bottom. So we got the bottom here and it has little tabs. Then I take the tabs out or take it and take them loose, unclip them. And then the bottom will slide out with the, with the fuel pump filter there. All right, let's do it. So the old one is out. And let's compare the two. How about that? This is a stock one. Let's get a good look at it. All right. Now, let's bring in the big boy. <laughs> That's a difference, man. <laughs> that is a difference.
I see why you need a bracket for this. And the wires that come with the new one, I'm going to have to put those into the OEM um, connector. So, yeah. Let me look at this thing and uh, let's start getting this thing fitted. Cool. Yo. Hey, if you look at the stock one, see how the setup is with the the spacer there and then the o-ring on top well this spacer is just too small for the new one so the new one comes with his own spacer as you see it's black but the thing is it's like a step spacer so if you look the uh the small part is the part that goes down so i'm gonna slide that down there because if you look closely, it's already be ground down from AMS. And you can slide that on there. And then you take the old O-ring, put it onto the new one. And now this one is ready to slide into there. Let's get it. All right, now I just slid it in there. You gotta slide the wires through the bottom, of course. All right. And this is why we need a bracket, because this part is way fatter than the stock one. And it doesn't even fit all the way down. So we're gonna have to use a bracket to secure it and to seal it for that top piece there, so it can be filtered. Let's get it. Okay, this is the filter. And the plastic tabs on this filter you gotta break them. That's the only way. I mean, you could use a Dremel, but honestly, why even do that when you just break them? I already broke one. You just break them, and it'll break exactly at the point where you need it broken. So let's go ahead and break those, and then we'll be able to seal it with the bracket. All right, now I got the bracket fitted onto the cap. And as you can, as you guessed it, this is gonna go on the top of the actual new fuel pump. So, when that goes on, this will pretty much seal the top so that the new filter, I mean, I'm sorry, the new pump is filtered. So, you don't, like, you don't wanna put a new filter on, I mean, a new pump on without a filter because even though the uh, fuel tank is sealed, it's never a guarantee that the stuff inside the tank is clean. Like the tank always accumulates some kind of dirt because you're putting the pump nozzle in and out over the years and it accumulates, you know, dirt, moisture, whatever. And the only way to clean it is fuel. Like fuel pretty much cleans it and filters unless you take the pump, the tank out and you completely drain it and clean it professionally. But in all honesty, like it's not to the point where you need to do that. It's just enough dirt that could cause problems with the fuel system, which is why you want to filter before the pump. So the pump can last. And obviously you got another filter before you get to the actual injection system, like the high pressure fuel pump and the fuel injectors. So let's go ahead and put this on the top. It's all coming together. The bracket, the cap, the new pump so what I have to do at this point is pretty much get this bracket on so this bracket can hold that cap on a new pump so it can hold it down um, this is actually really good quality stuff like AMS I know you guys call yourself an engineering company and uh, I can see it it's some good quality materials I'm seeing it in this in this just this simple kit all right let's go ahead and put it on this is the bracket installed completely installed with the lock nuts on and at this point the next step is to get those two wires that don't quite have a home yet 
we're gonna go ahead and um, connect those to the OEM harness. That way this one can plug and play. Yeah. So the way to tell which goes where, the blue wire is power and the dark gray wire is negative. This is the stock pump and I'm using it as reference so that when I cut the wires down there, the connection up here is correct when it goes into the harness. So that's how you can tell which is which in case you get lost. And here is the finished product. So the last thing you would have, have to do is connect the fuel lines back, put this back in, uh, cinch everything down, and um, make sure that the fuel pump is priming once everything is in. And then we'll just finish it up by putting the seat back in. Let's do it. All right. I got it all cinched down. Uh, with these bolts, just so you know, only use a screwdriver to put them back in because you can you can strip them you can strip them because my qx4 has the same setup and uh yeah let's just say i learned from a trial and error so once i saw this fuel pump set up i was pretty much going back to what i do with my qx4 but i, I learned with the qx4 so i did not strip them, which is why i tell you guys use this all right so right now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna cycle the ignition and i'm gonna see if i hear the pump priming and if i do it's getting power and it's pumping now all it has to do is run the engine let's do it i heard something let's turn it off all right let's try it again See if y'all can hear it. Oh yeah. Let's go ahead and start it. Oh yeah. So the last thing, now that the engine is running, the last thing you need to do, or we need to do, is put the seat back in, all right? And then once I put the seat back in, everything's done, and that's the end of the installation. So if you found this video helpful in any way, make sure you show your boy some love. You know, hit the like button, and always consider subscribing to this channel. Uh, this channel will have new videos every Monday, and every Thursday and we're gonna keep it to that schedule and if you see new videos in between there hey that's bonus so just thank you guys for coming to my channel thank you guys for watching God bless